Oh, hi. Good afternoon, ma'am. This is Charlie. I'm calling you from Health and Welfare Department. How are you doing today? I'm okay. The Health and Welfare Department? Yes, ma'am. The reason of my call, I just only inform you, your number is enrolled for zero dollar health insurance. And when this insurance is covered, you all medical expense like health checkup, dental, vision, surgery, all kinds of treatment is covered, but you no need to pay any single dollar. Apart from that, you will get monthly subsidies also by the federal government. So ma'am, is this the verification department? I'm a verification officer. I need some verify some of your basic detail. If you are eligible, then I'll be provide you right now all government best services and monthly subsidies by the federal government, okay? So what uh, how how old are you ma'am? What's your age? I'm fifty six. Oh, are you as are you sure your age is sixty six? Fifty six, five six. Oh, your age is five six, okay. And uh, could you please, ma'am, first confirm me? Are you currently working? No, I'm not. You are not working. No, I'm not. Okay, so, ma'am, uh, are you single, right? I am single, yeah. Okay, ma'am, please first confirm me your zip code. And, ma'am, currently, do you have any kinds of health insurance? I have Medicare. Okay, you have Medicare, right? That's correct. Uh, okay, so ma'am, uh, please hold the line just only for a uh, few seconds. I'll just connect you call our legal insurance advisor. He will assist you how you should get all government benefit without any cost, okay? So ma'am, please don't hang up the call. Be online just only a 5 to 10 seconds, okay? All right, I'll stay online for 5 to 10 seconds. Okay, please be on online. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand. Yeah, hello. Yes, I'm here. Yeah, yeah, okay. You were just speaking with one of my colleague about free of cost health insurance and uh, about state subsidies. Okay, ma'am. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. As you have mentioned that you are fifty six years old, am I right? That's correct. Okay, and right now you are not working. That's right. That's correct. Uh, yeah, and you are single. I'm co yeah, correct. And your uh, your health insurance is Medicare. Correct. Oh, that's awesome. And ma'am, how do you spell your first name? P E N N Y. P. T for tiger. P as in Paul. Penny. Penny. P E N N Y. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, great. Last name? Bailey. B A I L E Y. Yeah. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, ma'am. Now what I have to do, I will just ask you simple two questions. After that, you will get uh, subsidies as well as fair uh, uh, or health insurance. Uh, do you pay your taxes? Do I pay my taxes? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's against the law. Not, it's that'd, against, be, that, that'd be tax evasion. It'd be against the law to not pay your taxes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. But ma'am, one thing is for sure. You are uh, by your wife. I'm not just. I'm just totally, I got surprised that you are 56. I was just thinking that you are in your four early 30s. To be so honest, I swear. Oh, well, no, I'm 56. Yeah. Okay, that worries. And uh, did you claim any dependency? Um, I don't have any dependents right now, no. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, ma'am, right now you are totally qualified for it, but there are two things. Okay, I will just uh, mention you. If your verifier will ask you, that do you have any health insurance? Actually, your Medicare is not uh, covering each other. I'm sorry. Like could you could you start over widget. again? I'm sorry. What did you say you broke up? Two okay, qu no, two well, questions or two say, two questions? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Actually, the thing is that the, right now you have Medicare, okay? Right. Yeah, Medicare is not uh, covering each and everything, like your dental, vision, and all expensive tests like Medicare, uh, like uh, CT scan, MRIs, okay? What we can do, we can provide you a new health insurance which will cover each and everything where you don't have to pay a single dollar. Oh, and one more thing, you will get monthly subsidies like you give, you will get groceries, you will get food allowances and you will get some sort of money from government, okay, each and every month. But for that ma'am, uh, you don't have to mention that if anyone, if any verifier will ask you that do you have any health insurance, simply tell them no, I don't have any health insurance, okay.
No, but that's that. that I'm idea? sorry. Why? Why do you want me to lie? Why? I mean, why do you want me to no, lie? No. That doesn't make any sense at all. No, no, no. Actually, ma'am, I'm not. Uh, I'm not uh, telling you that you have to lie. The you just that, did. You just you said that they them. ask you if you have health yes, insurance. Tell them I don't, but I, I do. I do. Uh -huh. <sighs> I, to I told. I told you. But the thing is that uh, you have the Medicare, but you are not getting all the benefits. And it wouldn't impact on your health insurance, okay? Well, why do you want me to lie, it though? That's not. You doesn't have explain to me why you don't. Why you want me to lie? I don't understand that. That is why, because you will not get the proper benefits. What, okay, okay. So, are you Medicare, telling me I have to lie to get the proper benefits? That sounds fraudulent to me. I'm just. Uh, if you are interested, uh, if you will say that, uh, I will never force you. Okay, dear. I'm not here to force you. But you told me, but you, but you're you coercing can. me. You're coercing me into into saying I have no health insurance, telling me to tell somebody I don't, yes. and I don't understand why. Can you please okay. help me understand why you want me to lie? Okay, okay, I will. Okay, if you will just tell them that yes, I have a medical uh, health insurance. Actually, it is in government scheme. If you will tell them that already I have a health insurance, so how come it is possible they can they give you the another insurance which will cover each and everything, like your dental, vision copies your uh, uh expensive textures like uh ct scan mris which are not covered yet so i don't think that uh that is an issue that is a lie if you are getting these are the benefits provided by government if you are not going to take them any another person will get them so that is not a good thing okay so is these are the pro uh benefits provided but you're by not government. really i'm sorry you, sir you're not really explaining to me why you would like me to tell them i don't have medicare is there a reason behind that? Ma I th yes, ma'am. The reason is that if you will tell them that already I have Medicare. Well, then, then if I okay, does that mean that somebody the, does that mean with, that somebody that has Medicare really doesn't qualify for these benefits? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. No, no. no okay. I mean, well, yeah. Okay. okay all verified. right. Okay. All right. So the people that have Medicare don't qualify for these benefits. So you're telling the people with Medicare to lie and say we don't have Medicare. I don't understand why. I don't no, understand no. this at all. Ma'am, 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 ma'am. Ma it wouldn't impact on a, a Medicare, okay? It wouldn't. It remain. It will remain safe. That doesn't. Okay. After that. All that right. That, that's not what. That's not what I asked you. I asked you why you want me to lie. You keep dancing around the issue, and I don't like it. Why? Is why? there a reason why? Reason are, are, you, are you getting a kickback? Do you get a kickback on every call that you forward? Is that why you want me to lie? No, no, no. I'm not here to tell you lie. If you are interested, if you want to get the benefits of the government, then uh, you just have to speak them. You just have to tell them that I don't have a health insurance. If you are agreeing, I will just provide you the benefits. If you are not, I'm not here to... Well, I don't want to break the okay? law. I don't want to break the law. You said if people have Medicare, they don't qualify. And I don't want to get in trouble. Ma'am, you... No, 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 no. So I, I am the res I am wholly and solely responsible for that. Your form is filled by me. I know that uh, there will uh, nothing will happen because I am the responsible person. I have I have taken the responsibility. I have filled your form. I am the one who wa who wants that you should get your benefits, and wholly and solely I am responsible for that. Okay, and no one will uh, come to come and visit that. Do you have a health insurance or not? Okay. So you're saying so, if I take this and I'm not supposed to have it anyway, that um, there's no way they can look this up and get me in trouble. I can get both even though I don't qualify? Yeah, definitely. There is nothing like that. No one will come and ask you that. Okay? No one will come because I'm taking responsibility for that. Okay? Okay. So if anyone will ask you that, do you have a health insurance? The sample is your no. Okay? Are you all right with that? Yeah, I guess I had to tell them no. And yeah. Thank you. Hello. Yeah, that's my Amazon Fresh order. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, no worries. No worries. Um, so can, I guess, can we start now? Yeah, go ahead. Transfer me. Okay. Okay. Now, last thing is that uh, you told me that you are not working, okay? Right. I'm not. Hello? Okay. 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 But, ma'am, uh, you have to tell them that uh, are you doing any part time, like self employed, uh, cooking, okay? I'm on disability. That's why I get Medicare. Okay, you are on disability. Mm -hmm. No worries. And you are getting benefits from SSI, am I right? SSDI, yes. SSDI, okay, no worries. So, ma'am, if you want to get those benefits, uh, simply uh, they will tell you that you have to tell them that I'm self-employed. Can you? 
All right, so now that's two lies. One one lie is I have to tell them that I don't have Medicare, and the second lie is that I'm self-employed. Hey, uh, yes. Is there, will that be all right? I guess so. I just don't want to get in trouble. Ma'am, I am the one who is responsible. I am the one who is filling your form. All right, all right, fine. You are not. You are not. You are not the only one whom I am. Whom I am helping. There are so right. many persons whom I am helping like this. Okay. And the last thing which you have to mention, if they will tell you how much is your annual income, simply tell them fifteen thousand. Okay. Okay. These these are the three things. Uh, just if they will tell you that uh, as a self-employed, what you do tell them that I'm a cook. Okay. I'm sorry. Tell them I'm. Uh, hold, hold on a second. I'm a. Hold hold on. Oh, okay, no worries. You said um, tell them I'm a cook. I don't want to be a cook. Yeah. Can I make up another job? Okay, tell me. Yes, definitely. Tell me. All right. Um. Let me know what you want. To, let me know what you want to become. I work in a veterinary. Well, no, you said I have to be self-employed, so I can't work for anybody. Um. Uh. Mm, I design websites. Just give me how a good about name. I? How about I design websites? Yeah, that that will be all. That will be. Okay, that will be all right. All right. Okay. Okay. I will just uh, bring one up there, verified on the call. Okay, you have to tell them same that as I have told you mm -hmm. that you are a self-employed. You don't have a health insurance. You are filing your taxes. You don't don't claim any dependency. Okay, that will be enough. Okay, after that you will get um, benefits. Okay, ma'am. All right. Thank you. Oh, uh, well, okay. Just bear with me. Be online. I will just bring one of the verifier. And one more thing. Remember, never tell them that I am on disability. Bear with me, I will bring Wait a minute, time, time, I didn't hear okay? that. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. Never tell them what? I am on disability. Oh, okay. I, I'm sorry, I missed that. Okay. Okay, no worries. Be, be in line. I will just bring one of the verifier on call. Okay. Hello? Yeah, hello. Yes, Kenny, can you hear me? I can hear you. Uh, yeah, very lovely. Uh, good afternoon to you, Kenny. How are you today? I'm fine. Uh, Teddy, my name is Max, and I'm calling you from the Health and Welfare Department. And the reason of my call today is to let you know that we are offering you a free zero dollar health insurance, which is fully funded. Okay, I'm sorry. Hold on a second. Hold government. on. Hold on. Are we starting this all over again? I've been on the phone for 15 minutes with another guy, and he said he was transferring me to somebody, an agent that can give me the benefits. Yes, ma'am. I'll be connecting your line. Okay. With the license enrollment officers. But I need to well, you don't need to start from you don't need to start from the beginning because I've already been on the phone for 15 minutes. I need to start dinner. Can we hurry up? All right. Please. Okay, so now, do you have any health insurance? Or are you looking for a new one? I don't have any health insurance. And are you currently working full time, part time, or self employed? Self employed. And how much are you able to make in a year, roughly, ma'am? Around fifteen thousand. Okay, and can I confirm your zip code just to see if this plan is applicable in your region? Okay, and do you file taxes, ma'am? Yes. Right. So, ma'am, we definitely would be able to help you out with this zero dollar health insurance. In this program, you'll be covered for majority of the medical coverage, and if you require to make any claims with the help of this insurance, you'd be able to do so. Now, I have confirmed the information, and all I need to do is get yourself connected to one of my licensed enrollment officers who can quickly get you enrolled onto the program. But I just need to read out a quick disclaimer with you first. And in the end of the disclaimer, you just need to answer in a simple yes or a no. Okay? Okay. Uh, so I just want to make sure you know that you are under no obligation to provide any consent to purchase any products or services. After your consultation, you might hear from our resolution center within the next 24 to 48 hours. My resolution center or quasi control department may use an automated dialing system to reach you including texts or emails, and calls will override any state or federal no-contact registries that you may be on now. Is that okay? Okay. Ma'am, it should be a yes or a no, please. Yes. Okay. So do I have your permission to transfer your call to one of the licensed enrollment officers, ma'am? Yes, you do. Okay, just hold the line for me for a few seconds. Bear with me. And ma'am, he's the last person you'd be speaking to. He'd quickly get yourself enrolled onto the program. Just stick to a simple yes or no so that he can quickly get this done and you can go back having your dinner, ma'am. Apologies for taking a bit of your time, but we're almost at the end of the line here, okay? I hope Just so. Just a few seconds and I'll connect you with the expert. Thank Sarah you. Me. Thank you. The name of the Health Enrollment Center on a recorded line. Do you have any coverage through Medicaid, Medicare, or the VA? No. 
Sir, what's your name? My name's Anthony. Anthony, okay. And are you looking for health insurance coverage? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can I get your phone number in case we get disconnected? I've been having problems with my phone today, and I don't want to lose you. Yeah, I'll call you back if we get disconnected. I'm going to give you all our contact information in a moment, though. So well, can you I'm, I'm, your phone number, please? And what's your zip code? And can I have your name, please? Penny, P-E-N-N-Y, Bailey, B-A-I-L-E-Y. Now, Penny, before we continue, please be advised that if you were transferred from a third party promising you any financial incentive, unfortunately, customers never receive any money. However, there is government funding that will pay for your health insurance if you qualify. Now, my job is to make sure you weren't misinformed so are you genuinely looking for health insurance today? Yeah, I am. But could I please get your phone number in case we're disconnected? I really would like to get that because the la latest iOS version I updated to is really messing up my phone, and I don't want to lose you. Uh, you won't lose me. If we get disconnected, I'll call back. But I do have a process I have to go through. Once we get through the enrollment, then I can give you all the contact information. Okay, sir, I'd really because like to get your phone number now. They're just... There's a lot of people out there that are fishing for information, okay? So once we get you enrolled, then I can give you my contact information. Okay, why, okay if you're a legitimate company, okay. why can't you give me the contact information now, sir? We are, we are a legitimate company. It's just there's a process. All right, then what's the name of your company? Of what's the name of your company, please? I get scam. I get. I'm sorry. I get scam calls like every. Fishing. No, sir. I get scam listen, calls every day, and I just I want to make sure you're legitimate. I need, I need you to let me talk. I need you to I listen need to you me, to let me talk. sir. Listen to me. Stop I get. Talking over. Stop talking over me. Quit being this rude. You're not. Morning, please. I said please. Have a good day. You're, you're, oh my god, I want you to listen to me. I get scam calls every single day, and I want to make sure you're legitimate. You don't sound very legitimate. You sound very rude. Did you really just hang up on me? Wow, what a piece of crap. Do you see this? The American agents are just as bad as the low-life thieving scumbags over in India and Pakistan. They are scum of the earth. I hope you heard that. Hello, Miss oh. Smith. This is not Mrs. Hello. Smith. Yes, hello. Um, I'm just now, uh, we transferred a call to one of the health insurance advisors of your area, right? Yeah, and he was a big fat jerk. Yeah, I am so sorry about that, ma'am. I'm so sorry. I do apologize uh, outside of him, right? Uh, because I just listened to the recordings and uh, I know you were asking a genuine person. You were just asking for our contact details. Yeah, because but I've been but, having uh, phone problems. I've had phones. My phone calls understand. have been disconnected. I, I and all I wanted to know was his exactly. phone number. So in case we got disconnected and he was a, exactly. a piece of crap. He was a piece of crap. Exactly, ma'am. I am. I do understand, and I'm so sorry about that, right? You are not being enrolled for the zero dollar health insurance program. But I was speaking to one of my different advisor, who is the health insurance advisor of your area, right? Well, first of all, what you can do is, ma'am, till the time you are talking to them, all right? You can talk, and once you will get disconnected, they will itself call you back, all right? You don't have to worry about that. When they call you back by the number from which they will be calling you, you can note down that you can save that number. And in the future, if you have any query, you can directly call them or you can also visit our office anytime. All right. Well, he wouldn't give me his company's name. It sounded really, really fishy to me, I, like a scam. It really I, did. He was just rude and horrible. What a nasty, horrible person he was. Yeah, I do understand. Now, I do understand. Well, uh, if you quit. If you get disconnected, all right, my advisors will call you back from their end, okay? So I well, I don't, okay, I'm sorry, sir. I just want, I would like to have a phone number and a name of a company of, of who I'm dealing with. I mean, that's just, you I, know, I, something that everybody would like to know. Yeah, yeah I do understand. I do understand, ma'am. And I'm so sorry about that. I even, I, even I'm saying, I'm, apologize, I, I'm saying sorry well, don't, no, them. don't right. apologize for anybody else. Only apologize for yourself if you do something bad. Don't apologize for right. that person. Exactly, exactly. I do understand, ma'am, but I know uh, he was wrong at that point, right? If you were asking for any kind of contact number or the company name, he must have told you. Because if I was in his place, I would have told you. 
I mean, right. yeah, if you're going to be giving up your personal information and signing up for something, that's the very least. Just like, can I have your phone number, your name of your company? If you don't want to give that up, then that sounds very suspicious. Right, I do understand, ma'am. So, uh, I, I was speaking to my different advisor about you, right? And they told me that they can enroll you for the free $0 health insurance program, right? And uh, with uh, which will be covering for your dental and the vision as well, okay? All right, well, you can go ahead and transfer me, but it better not be like this other guy or I'm hanging up. But what you need to do is, ma'am, you need to understand that when you will speak to the advisors for two or three minutes, right, what happens is after two or three minutes, they will get your information that whether you've got the insurance or not, what's your name, what's your zip code, like these details they will get. And after that, if you ask them that what's the name of your company or about the contact number, they would be happily able to give you. Well, you know, that's really, that's really kind of, I understand what you're saying, I get that, I do, but that's kind of messed up, it's like, we want, give me, give me all of your information, every single thing, and you can't know anything about me until I'm ready to give it to you? Ma'am, what happens is, what happens is, I'm not saying that you are wrong, he was wrong the way he spoke to you, that was completely wrong, right? I stand with you at, uh, at this point, but what I'm telling you, try to understand, because the advisors, are always busy once you get disconnected they receive another call once that call disconnected they receive one another call all and right okay so right, so what you're so okay basically to so, be able to get the information that any normal person would be able to get from any legitimate company are you saying that i should hang up what, and have him call me back what i am telling you is once you have spoken to them for about three two three minutes after that, let them know that I may get disconnected. So either you call me back or if I can have your company name or your contact number. Well, the that other guy said, sense. the other guy said, I'm not giving you anything until we get you completely enrolled. And I'm sorry, but that's really screwed up. This will not happen now. That's what I'm saying. I hope right? so. I hope so, because I'm not going to deal yeah. with another guy, yeah. another guy like that one. I won't do it. When you will be now, when you will be speaking to the different advisor, be calm. No need to discuss about what happened just now with the different advisor. All right, because that will that will make uh, the advisor, the new advisor to whom you will be speaking, that will make him suspicious about you. All right. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, I, okay, no, stop. It's suspicious to ask somebody their name and their phone number. How is that suspicious? I don't, I'm sorry, I don't understand. Why would that be like that? No, 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 I'm not saying, I'm not saying that if you will ask for their contact number or your, or their company name, that will make them suspicious about you. What will make suspicious about you is that when you will be speaking to the different advisor now, if you let them know about what happened just now with the advisor you were speaking to. It's all just doesn't. Because it's just all so weird. Because, it's all so weird. Because a new, um, because a new advisor whom you will be speaking to, they don't know about what happened with the advisor whom you were speaking to just now, about a couple of minutes back. All right, they just know that you are, you are here with them to enroll yourself for a free zero dollar health insurance program. They don't, they don't know about what happened just now. Even they are not bothered about what happened just now with the different advisors. I hope you're understanding me, ma'am. Right? Yeah, I do, but I don't understand. I mean, uh, the, the thing yeah. that they would be suspected, it's like, it, 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 you know, asking somebody's name and telephone number is commonplace. It's, you know, um, it's like shaking hands. It, it doesn't make any sense to me at all. Ma'am, once, once you will be speaking to the advisor now, and once it's been about two or three minutes, straight away, you can ask them, if I get disconnected, can I have your contact number? Or can you call me back? All right, let's try this again. Let's just try this again, because I really need to right? get my dinner done, and I'm not, I'm, now I'm in a foul no, mood. I know I'm in a really foul mood because of how that guy treated me. I, I do understand, even I I do apologize, right? I'm sorry, I, I'm, I'm saying sorry to you. All right, it's fine. Just go ahead and transfer me to the next person. Hopefully, I can get this taken care but of. I will, 
Yeah, but I would be able to transfer your call to the health insurance advisor only if you will be calm, if you will not discuss about the things what just happened and listen to them whatever they ask you in the whatever initial details they ask you that your zip code do you have any insurance do you file taxes do you claim any benefits for your dependents and are you employed self employed let them know that these details because in the starting only when you will be speaking to them they will be letting you know their name and their company should i uh, put you through with one of the advisor now i just said yes okay and uh, i just need to confirm do you have any health insurance right at the moment ma'am oh my god this again no no you don't have all right and uh, okay and you're self employed yes okay brilliant then just be with me now let me put you through one of the different advisor you can speak to them and they will enroll you for the free 0 dollar health insurance program okay mhm mm all right all right now just be with me just hold the line we're calling hik this is rodney we're on a recorded line for quality and training yes we are today my name's penny all right hello penny are you looking for health covers today yes sir all right and to see what's available in your area what is your zip code and then also what is your annual household income around 15000 all right and then also what is your date of birth penny february 2nd 1967 all right and then also how do i spell your last name so i have it correct here bailey b a i l e y all right and then so penny what we'll do is we'll create an application on the marketplace from the marketplace we'll be able to look at what the premiums are for you and then we'll go through your needs assessment to make sure that the plan we select that fits your needs as well. Okay. And first what I'm going to do is I'm just going to read this disclosure. This is just so that we could go on to the marketplace and then we'll go ahead and submit that application. So Penny, do you give permission to Health Insurance King Agency and its representatives to serve as your health insurance agent and broke and our broker for the purposes of enrolling in a qualified health plan offered on the federal marketplace? Yes. Um can I get your um company's name please if I'm authorizing my um giving you my Yeah, uh, yes. Go ahead. All right, so yeah, our company name is Health Insurance King. Health Insurance King like as like as in royalty like a uh, king? Yeah. Mhm. Mm oh, okay. And um can I get your call back number in case yep. we get disconnected please? Yeah. Yeah, of course. So my direct line is going to be Okay, thank you so much. And I got Health Insurance like, King. Are you um oh, did you oh, I'm sorry. Did you give me an extension? My my, my apologies. Yes. Oh, no, sorry. My extension is Okay, I got it. All right. Health Insurance King and you guys um um are um authorized to sell and sell me this in my state or is this a federal thing? Yes. So I'm licensed in your state. I actually we We have two locations, well we have three, but our two main locations here are Florida. I'm up here in Boca Raton, Florida. Mm -hmm. That's where I'm calling you from. And then also we have our other sister location which is over in Texas. Oh. We do specialize in private insurance as well as market marketplace. Um it it just depends on what your needs are and then also what you qualify for. Um typically it will, will all vary based on income mm -hmm. and then also um qualifications as far as being able to sign up on the marketplace or not. Oh, okay. Okay. Yep. So, yeah, once we submit the application and I'm going to go through the rest of the disclosure for you. Uh once we submit the marketplace application, it lets me know the amount of the subsidy that is going to pay for the monthly cost of your your coverage. And then also, I go through your your needs as far as how many times you go to the doctor, if you're on any specialized medication. and then from that information i make sure that the plan is going to cover you for everything that you need it for okay and this is for the aca right yes that's okay. what the marketplace is so oh that's okay that's going to be the federal marketplace it's um it is offered statewide it's state based so every state has a different um they have different plans and everything and those different plans they cost different but it's all based on your qualification and everything Oh, okay, all right. 
All right. And then, so the rest of this agreement here is by consenting to this agreement, you authorize Health Insurance King Agency and its representatives to view and use confidential information provided by you electronically, by um, writing, and then also by telephone only for the following purposes. For searching for an existing marketplace application, completing an application for eligibility and enrollment in a qualified health plan, providing ongoing account maintenance and assistance, and then also responding to inquiries from the marketplace regarding your marketplace application. Do you understand that Health Insurance King Agency and its representatives will not use or share your personal identifiable information for any purposes other than those listed above? Health Insurance King Agency and its representatives will ensure that your PII is kept private and safe while storing, collecting, and using your information for the application process. Okay. All right. All right. And then do you confirm that the information you provide for entry on the eligibility marketplace application will be true to the best of your knowledge? Yeah. Um, I'm getting another phone call. Can you hang on just one second? I'm so sorry. Hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's fine. All right. I'm sorry. I'll be right back. I'm actually going to hang up because I know that the scammer is listening and I don't want him to hear what I'm about to say. So I'm going to hang up the call, wait for him to call me back. If he does not call me back, I will call back on the number that he provided. For calling. If you know your party's extension, please dial it at any time. If not, please hold well. Hello, thank you for calling HIK. This is Rodney on a recorded line for quality and training. Oh, is this Penny? Yeah, we got disconnected. I apologize about that. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I thought that that was what would happen. All right, so um, the last what? little part of the disclosure that I was going to re uh, read off to you is, um, do you understand that you do not have to share any additional information about yourself or your health with Health Insurance King Agency and its representatives beyond that which is required on the application for eligibility and enrollment? Also, do you understand that your consent remains in effect until you revoke it? And you may revoke or modify your consent at any time by telephone. Yeah, what was the question before this, though, before that last question? Oh, yeah, so that was just our agreement for the privacy. Oh, no, sorry, that was the agreement for... Uh, do you confirm that the information you provide for entry in the application will be true to the best of your knowledge? Okay, I have to I have to be honest with you. Um, the the people that I was that I was speaking with that transferred me to you, they were telling me to lie about everything. I don't oh, know I'm why. Hold on, yeah, they're not supposed to do that at all. They told me uh, to lie so about my income. They said, don't tell them you have Medicare. Don't tell them you're on disability. Tell them you're self-employed. He even told me to say, you're a cook. Tell them you're a cook. And I'm like, okay, I don't want to be a cook. And I'm like, what if I just tell them I do web design? He's like, that's fine. I recorded the whole thing, by the way. I recorded all of it. Yeah. Yeah, we also record these calls, too. So if they were doing something like that on the call and I heard it, I would just let it recorded so i could send it off to my manager i've um, got it all i've got it all i couldn't believe it i was like you want me to lie about they wanted me to lie about everything i don't understand why i i i i, I honest to god don't understand why they want they were so desperate to have me lie to you and then when you said you know that one little disclaimer part that's when i got a little worried and it's like you know i don't want to lie i don't want to do that yeah no because um the whole point of getting the coverage especially through the marketplace is um, so that you have health coverage so you can afford the coverage, but it's not so that you can have a penalty at the end of the year if you lied about your income or anything like that. That's why I'm always kind of, I'm always very thorough when it comes to the application because mm -hmm. for the most, for the most part, when we get these calls, because we get them from different sources, there's multiple different sources. So this call is labeled. So I'm going to, we're going to know who sent over the call to, the, to us. Oh, okay, good, good, because yeah, I that doesn't make any sense to me. Um, if you would like me to provide the evidence to you, I'd be more than happy to do that. Um, I just, when you said that disclaimer part about is what you're saying true and accurate, it's like, well, no, not any of it is, because they told me exactly what to say to you, every single thing. They said you cannot, they said you can get all these benefits, but you can't tell them you have Medicare. I'm like, why do I have to lie? I mean, I'm not going to get into the details. I can provide the phone call, and I could let you listen to it. Yeah. But, I mean, it was just crazy. It was absolutely crazy. Yeah, I mean, no, just just you telling me this on this call is enough. So our, uh, my manager will listen to this call. 
and he'll be able to see that um, one of the the people sending us calls was being untruthful. I don't understand why they're doing that either because um, you know with certain incomes you you know people will qualify. If you do already have the Medicare coverage mm -hmm. or uh, Medicaid, right? I wouldn't um, qualify. They told me that already. I was aware of that, but I played along with it, you know, kind of because he even was like you know scolding me and everything, you know, getting a little angry with me. It was like. Um, I, I, you know, like you said, you don't understand why they're doing it. Neither do I. I mean, why would they be so desperate? Do they get some kind of kickback if they get a call through or something? There has to be some kind of motivation behind this. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, yeah. So I'll put I'll put the notes in here and I'll let them know. Um, I'll put it down that you already have coverage, so that we don't end up making the application and then causing you any issues down the road either. No, so please, really oh, quick. yeah, yeah, please don't do yeah, that. Oh, sure. my God, oh, my God, no, I don't want to be in trouble. I even said that to him. I said, I don't want to be in trouble with the government, and I don't want to lie. He goes, oh, don't worry. I was like, I'm totally responsible for this. This is all on me. Just do what I say. I kid all you right. not. Yeah, that's not cool at all. So thank you for that information. That really helps us out here to make sure that everything stays correct. You're very, you're very welcome. You're very welcome. Yeah. Um, but like I said, um, please feel free to, you know, you have my phone number and you have my name. If you would like a copy of this, I, could, I will keep it and I will make sure I can provide it to you. Yeah, actually, uh, do you have an email? I do. I do. All right. What's your email? Um, it's... All right. So if I'm going to let my manager know, and if we request that re recording, then we'll go ahead and we'll need it. But otherwise, um, when it comes to dealing with these people, we'll just, you know, I'll, we'll uh, deal with that person directly as well. So well, I hope so. It's very concerning because I'm I'm only one of 8 billion people on this planet. And I know that, yeah. you know, is this happening to other people, too, and it, and it really needs to be addressed. It really worries me yeah, because, and you know why it worries me? Because, well, I got scared about it. It's like, I'm going to get in trouble. It's like, what if they actually convince somebody to do this and they get in trouble? You know, they're telling people to break the law. Yeah, that's why we, we read the whole disclaimer and then we go through everything. We make sure that if people were misled in, in anything, any way, especially by any commercials that are out there, because there's a bunch of different commercials telling people all types of promotions mm. and you know, then the, the health carriers, they have slightly different, they do have promotions and cash benefits, um, but it's not as great as those commercials. So that's something else that sometimes happens when people see those commercials on YouTube or on TV. But, well, yeah, those know, commercials, they're exaggerating. Um, I'm sure they're skirting the line, but this was full-blown fraud. This was just, you know, yeah. crazy. Um, you know, this was, you know, like, you know, really bad. Yeah, well, I have your information here. Um, you shouldn't really hear from us from an email or anything, but if I do need anything from you, okay. I'll go ahead and send you an email so that, you know, we can, uh, if we need anything, if you need to pursue anything. Okay, Otherwise, I'd be more than happy we'll to help. On it. I, right, I would be more yeah, than no, happy to awesome. help. Thank you very much. No, thank you, Rodney. Thank you for being so kind. I yeah. really appreciate it. Also, was it. Was it that they were listening to the call, too, and then trying to coach you through the call? Yes, call? yes. You were the second agent they transferred me to, so I knew they were listening. Uh, and um, when you got I disconnected, see. I was like, oh, thank goodness. I've been ha I really have been having problems with my iPhone. This new iOS update has been a pain in my butt. Mm -hmm. I swear to God, it's been horrible. And when I lost you, I was like, oh, that's great, because now I can call him back, and that guy won't be listening. Because that's the And that's another thing. That's very unscrupulous and very weird. Why would they stay on the phone? They shouldn't. They should be disconnecting the call. They shouldn't be listening at all yeah normally they do disconnect but sometimes you know if there's like somebody like that then they'll try to listen to the whole call mm. so i'll go ahead and i'll notate everything that you just told me okay and that should be enough we'll go ahead and take care of this person and make sure that you know we'll resolve this issue especially since open enrollment is coming up as well yeah open enrollment just started and i've got to take care of that too Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so right. much, Rodney. Uh, thank you for being You're so welcome. kind. I I mean that. I, th I appreciate that. Thank oh, you thank very you. much. Thank you. All right. Well, I'll go ahead and I'll let you go for now. And thank then, you. Um, the next, uh, you know, if anything, you know, you can reach back out. Yeah, I've got your phone number and your extension. You've got my email. If you need, you know, anything from me, you can reach out to me too. And you've got my phone number as well. All right. Well, have a blessed one, and I'll talk to you next time. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. I didn't expect the American agent to be so helpful. Usually, well, you heard what the um, other agent was. They're usually 
big fat butt heads. And this guy said he's actually going to do something about it and he's going to report it. I hope so, because like I said, they're telling people to commit a crime. And some people might do it and then they're going to get in trouble. So it needs to be addressed. And I might discuss with the, this with the people that I report to and ask them if maybe um, somebody should be looking into this, because I think they should be.